see some random doors opening back there. That will be my little one. So, you know, sorry, but not sorry. But anyway, that's not what we're here about. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Candy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are my candy babes, thank you so much guys for coming back. If you're new, part of the family, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video. Same goes to YouTube. If you are new here, you're just visiting. Dude, welcome. I don't know why I just called you dude, but you know. I appreciate your love and support, you guys being here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. So anyway, uh, this is going to be journey number three of trying to locate my foundation shade. Um, if you have followed me on my vlogs, and I don't know if I mentioned this in my other videos, but I've been trying to find um, a foundation. I definitely have mentioned this on my Instagram. I have been color matched completely wrong multiple times. And this is now my third time trying. It is, baby. It's mommy's third time. Yep. It's mommy's third time trying some foundation. So today's lucky winner number three is going to be Lime Comb. And this is their 24-hour foundation. I don't know if this is new or not. I don't know. I just really trusted the girl at Ulta because she's so cool. She loves all of her every single week time we go in there. She's like, oh my god, where's your baby? So cute. And then I was like... I'm getting the other girls over there do not know how to color match me. She was like, sit down. She was like, sit down, girl. I got you. And it was like, she swatched like five different foundations for me. Lime comb. This one actually stayed on. I waited at the chair. I was like, I need that lighting because I need to see what you see so I can see it. Because this is what I used to for my studio. And so she hooked me up with this one. This is shade 540. So here is the foundation. Comes in a 1.4 fluid ounce. The price for this foundation was pretty pricey. It was about $47 at Ulta. Um, that's pretty pricey for myself. However, with all the exchanges that I've done with um, previous foundations, I've had actually $10 to spare as far as returning items. So I got me some Maybelline Fit fit me loose setting powder and this is in the shade deep and I got this because my cover effects is leaving it's depleting and the Sasha cosmetics again is just so yellow like I it's too yellow for me I've heard great things about this powder so anyway um heard a very very reviews about this so we are going to be trying two new products today for my face I'm going to be using them as I would any other type of foundation, any type of way that I'm doing it. I'm actually not going to go on the website and check how to do it. I have not checked any YouTube videos to see how people have been laying down their powder or for their lime comb. So today's video is definitely going to be a first impressions on both these products. We're going to see how they wear out. We don't have anything to do today because I did something early. We're going to start this video, okay? I'm going to go ahead and go over to voiceover because... That guy over there is so. Oh, oh, I'll check back afterwards. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and start this damn tutorial. So we are going to go ahead and start off with some primer. We're using the Peter Thomas Roth Mattifying Primer. I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over my face and really ensure that it's getting into the skin. I just want to let you guys know that I am showing you my everyday foundation routine. Um, we're going to go into the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Dark. We're going to go ahead and open up the container. Go ahead and take my Sigma 3D HD Blending Beauty Blender. And I'm going to go ahead and press the powder into the primer. Ensuring that I'm creating this nice cement as we're about to put on this foundation. I just want to create a nice base. Now that we have the powder locked in, we're going to jump into the foundation. This is the Lancome. A dual ultra wear. I apologize if I'm butchering the name. Um, we are using the shade 540W, and we're just gonna again use that same beauty blender and then just blend it all the way out. When I was blending it out, it actually blended out really nicely. It didn't have any cakey or like patches or anything like that. So, just a little side note I think the best way so far is by blending it out with a beauty blender. Now 
Now that everything is blended out, we're going to go ahead and conceal the face. We're using the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Kit. And to go ahead to contour, we're going to use the Fenty Stick in the shade Espresso. Now that we went ahead and blended everything together, we're going to go back and use the Fit Me Powder. And we're going to mix in the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. Uh, we're going to create our own little shade here since I am neutral base. I'm a little too much for both the darker and the warmer. So of the two, it's going to give me a nice balance. And I'm using a flat brush to apply the powder. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and set the remaining portion of the face. We're using my favorite finishing powder. This is from Black Radiance and this is in the shade Milk Chocolate. And let's just go ahead and head back to the video. Alright guys, so this is the end of the foundation, or like I guess the tutorial portion of it. Um, I can say now that I finished another video and kind of um, letting this makeup set through as far as the foundation goes. It is fantastic. I have literally no complaints so far. For one, it matches my skin tone completely. I'm not looking gray, I'm not looking orange, I'm not looking red, I'm not looking anything else other than neutral tones. So thank you Lancome on just providing with a perfect color match for me. I'm just really excited on how much this is matching me. And I really also love the setting powder. It mixed really well with my Sasha Cosmetics. It blended out right and it doesn't give me any flashbacks so far. So far it's providing me a perfect like canvas. So definitely loving these two products, these products so far. This product um, says that it's 24 hour, it's um, transfer resistant, um, it's good for all skin types, and um, they're actually launching some more shades, I think within the next month or two, so look out for that. I think the lady at the Ulta store told me that they're going to be launching an additional five darker shades. Um, yeah, guys, this is the end of the uh, review. I really like it. I'm really goddamn happy. It's taken me about two months to find this thing, but it's coming out great. Anywho guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Thank you. I appreciate love and support to my candy babes. Thank you. I will catch you at the next one. Peace.